Hey guys, it's Jesse from FPS Squared, and it's Friday, so that means it's time for another episode of F-Cubed, where I show you all the latest and greatest free and fun Flash games. This week we're looking at a game called Bloody Hell, and Bloody Hell is a really cool top-down 2D shooter. Uh, I would call it a twin-stick shooter, but we're playing on a computer so it's more of just a top-down game and technically this isn't a flash game technically this is an HTML5 game so I'm pretty sure that if you wanted to play this and you don't have the flash plugin you should go uh, be able to support this game without the flash plugin anyway so yeah you can see that this is bloody hell um, it's a nifty little uh, little flash game here uh, you can see it's got this really cool, just right off the bat, I love the art style of this game. You can see it's got like these fake emulated CRT scan lines, and it's even got like this fishbowl effect. Uh, in fact, I can turn it off if you're having trouble seeing it. Like, here's normal without the CRT TV effects. Here's the CRT effects on. I love that. I kind of like that style. The lines can get kind of annoying, but I do like the way this game looks. Um,. So yeah, this is like an endless shooter. So you have one life, and you have unlimited ammo, and the goal is just to kill as many enemies as you can. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. You can see that uh, you are a devil, and you want to kill as many of these uh, angels as possible. So you can see my score racking up there, and I died. So there's my score. It's 102. I can click restart and do it again. And this is the entire game. There's not much to this game. It's not like you're going to be able to move on to a different level. At least I haven't found a different level or anything yet. So I really think this is more just a proof of concept type of game from for like the developer. Like in the in the uh, comments uh, or in the description of the game, the developer said that they were just trying out HTML5 games for the first time I'm pretty sure and they just wanted to see what they could do and this is one of those games that I've that I see like on, on a flash website and I want it to be a full-fledged game sort of like like Meat Boy for example it started off as a flash game and it became a full-fledged game well this is one of those games like I kinda wanna see that happen um, I think this would be really fun as a twin stick shooter uh, on like the PS4 and on the PC and stuff like this, stuff like that. So I really hope that the developer um, continues with this, although I doubt it will happen. But nonetheless, if the developer is watching right now, please continue this uh, this game. I really like the look of it, and I really like the way it plays. Uh, so please uh, continue making games like this. This is awesome. So yeah, you can see that uh, you have unlimited lives. Or not unlimited lives, unlimited ammo, one life, and you just try to rack up a high score. Believe it or not, I know this video doesn't show it, but my high score is about 3,000. And if you don't believe me, fuck you, here's a picture. And uh, I'll tell you how I did that. There is an unfortunate exploit that I've managed to find. And in fact, it's kind of just the way I play this game. But if you go down and up on the right side of the screen and then go left at the top... And you just keep doing this over and over again. You, in essence, kill everything. And nothing can ever get to you. And you can just keep doing this over and over and over again. Uh, let's see if I can hit 1,000. I really don't want to hit 3,000 because it took forever for me to get to 3,000. But like, if you're just careful and you watch uh, where those guys are going, you should be able to just go up and down like I'm doing and over to the left over and over again and you can see that I've racked up 4, 000, or 400 points right now already so there is an exploit to this game yes but again like I say I think this game is more of a proof of concept than really a full fledged game and I didn't get it but I got 558 I was hoping to get to a thousand but whatever but um, you know I've tried to walk around at the loading screen I can't really find anything secret or special uh, I wish there was more to this game, but still, for what it is, it's fun. You know, if you've got like 10, 15 minutes to kill 
and you're on you're you've got a computer nearby because you do unfortunately have to have a computer to play this uh you know it's worth like getting on for 10 to 15 minutes and just wasting time there is one mechanic that i haven't shown and it's a slow-mo mechanic if i right click on the mouse you can see that it slow mos everything including you which kind of sucks it seems like the point of a slow-mo mechanic in a video game is to slow down everything but you so that you have like a way of getting away um, but like yeah like this in fact I just died in slow-mo but the slow-mo is unlimited from what I can tell it's not like there's a limit on it so you can just unlimitedly move in slow motion if you want like again I don't really see the point if you move in slow motion too uh, because then it's like you're you're still if you're gonna die at normal speed if you slow it down, you're going. You're still just going to have the same amount of chances of getting away because it's just basically turn the ratio down from your speed to their speed. Uh, so it doesn't make any sense to me to slow you down as well. But maybe they just couldn't figure it out. Like they said that this was the first HTML5 game, so I don't know. It's a cool game. There's a link in the description. That's going to do it for this week's F Cube. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and uh, check out fpssquared.com for video game news, reviews, and other videos. I'm Jesse, and I will see you guys next time.